The sermon for today is year 2020, understanding the times. I want to bring your attention. I've mentioned this you know, uh, some years back, but I want to just bring this again uh, to our attention about the amazing mathematical probability of Bible prophecy. Uh, Dr. Hugh Ross, he is an astronomer. He has a degree in physics from the University of British Columbia, and he also has a PhD in astronomy from the University of Toronto. And uh, for several years, he did his uh, research. Uh, he continued doing research on quasars and galaxies uh, as a postdoctoral fellow at the California Institute of Technology. He writes uh, that there are approximately 2,500 prophecies in the Bible, out of which 2,000 have been fulfilled. He mentions about, Dan about Daniel's prophecy. Around 500 BC, Daniel prophesied that uh, uh, you know, from the time that the Persian king would announce uh, the return of the Jews to Israel to the time of the coming of the Messiah would be 483 years. This is in Daniel chapter 9, verses 26, 27. So the Bible prophecy is fulfilled exactly the way Daniel put it up. And the probability of a prophecy like this uh, happening by chance is one in 10 to the power of five, or one out of, you know, in, we would say in India, one lakh. You know, that's the probability, that's, that's such a slim chance, and yet it was fulfilled exactly the way Daniel said it. Now, I want to point us to number, uh, several things. Number one, between 1980, 2020, um, several major things have transpired. The first major thing that we should be aware of is that the formation of the nation of Israel, you see, for from the you know, God had promised Abraham that he would give, he, give him and his descendants the land of Israel, right from the river Euphrates down to the river Nile, that would be their land. He promised that. And he did say, you know, you will be scattered, but I'm going to gather you back as a nation. For example, in Jeremiah 31 and verse 10, he says, uh, Israel, um, he who scattered Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd does in his flock. And in connection to this, the second thing is that the Jewish people possessed Jerusalem. And this happened in 1967. They got back Jerusalem, but, but today, the nation of Israel and the city of Jerusalem is an epicenter of turmoil in the world. And God spoke about this. He foretold this. He said, this is going to happen. The third sign I want to point out from the current events that are happening uh, is the formation of the European Union. Why is this so significant? Because of Daniel's prophecies in Daniel chapter 2, chapter 7, chapter 8. Uh, it's amazing what Daniel prophesied. And now, remember, this is about 500 BC. Uh, this is way back in time. The fourth thing that I want to just mention here is about the role of Russia, China, uh, and Iran, Turkey, and Egypt. When the age is going to come to the end, the Battle of Armageddon, the Bible clearly tells us that there will be a, a nation from the north coming through uh, towards the land of Israel. And then there will be the kings of the east coming through uh, to the nation of Israel. Globally, uh, think, of, think of the, you know, in times past, there was America and there was Russia, two superpowers. But in recent times, we've seen China rise up in domination. Now, why is all this important? Why are we looking at all these nations? Joel chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. For behold those days, and at that time, when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, he says, I will gather all nations. I will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh, and I will do this. Why? End of verse 2. Because they have also divided up my land. So the time is coming when, you know, as people are trying to decide what to do with the Middle East, and they say, look, the only solution is we have got to divide the land. The nations are coming together to divide up the land. God is saying, that's the time there's going to be this battle. One last sign, it is about the explosion of information and travel. Daniel mentioned this in Daniel 12 verse 4. He says, you know, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase. So he says, in that day, in that time, knowledge will explode. You know, uh, uh, this is a study that was, uh, uh, or, or a theory, I would say, uh, that, was, uh, that social scientists uh, talk about. It's the knowledge doubling curve. Until the year 1900, uh, knowledge doubled every century. Then from 1950, uh, knowledge doubled every 25 years. Then from 2000, the year 2000, knowledge doubled every year. 
And today, they say, knowledge doubles every day. And Daniel said, Daniel 12 verse 4, knowledge shall increase. That's the time in which we are living. And people are saying it's happening. It's happening. Knowledge is doubling every day. So what does all this mean to you and me? By looking at the signs around us, we are close to seeing the rest of the prophecies in the Bible fulfilled. And we have to be ready.